Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This isn't the actual intro of the video. I have like a super hyped version of this intro a little bit down this, in this video. But um, I, I forgot to mention about the car crew and everything. So super, hyped, super, super hyped about it. Um, I have a name myself that I want to use. But if you guys don't want it, I'm 100% okay with that. I want to do a crew name you guys are cool with. So I picked out a few that me and my cousin, my brother liked. And uh, I'm going to be putting in a poll. I don't know which side. Let me think. Poll over here. Um, you guys check out the poll, vote on the one that you want. The first one is the one that I like made myself, mainly because like it's a name that I've used my entire life. Um, so you guys know me as Nor Hamadi. I used Natty as my, my kind of my nickname or Nadi. So I basically my name is Nor Hamadi. I got the N from my first name and ADI from my last name, and that makes Nadi. So um, I kind of like the name. Um, it's you know something that always you know represented me. But at the same time, it's not using my name directly, so you know it, it's a little cool twist. And at the same time, Nadi in Arabic means club, so it's pretty dope. I don't know if I'm gonna you know implement that in the crew name or maybe make that my brand name. I don't know. I'm super you know super hyped about that. I just figured out a minute club this entire time, my entire life. I'm so blind. Um, but yeah, there's a couple other names that I picked out uh, from the comments that I thought were super dope. But uh, you guys let me know which one you guys want me to do. And uh, from the top two of those, those five, I'm going to be addressing it and then we'll do the final results. I'm trying to make this name the sickest thing possibly before I order decals and things like that. So let's just get on with the rest of this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a sick video because... I don't know why I'm so hyped, but I just figured this out recently, and um, nobody's ever mentioned this in the forums or anything. And I'm just like, yo, I just figure out, I just figured out something evolutionary, like for real. So this should work on any car, to be 100% real with you guys, um, like any like BMW spec, because just the way their um, their engine, you know, goes with the exhaust and their throttle response makes this really easy to you know to do. Um, I, I tried it on my uh, my cousin's 350. He was able to do it, but the RPMs are different and the gears are different. So every car has that. You're able to make it pop, but um, you just have to you have to learn your car. But let me show you guys how um, and what you need to do in order to get the pops. All right. So if you guys are like me <clears throat> and uh, always wanted you know to get pops on your car, um, especially when it comes to car meets, just a little cool. You know, you have a sick exhaust. Um, you know. It's possible. Now there is one requirement. I mean, you can do it without having a muffler delete, which is considered a straight pipe, but it's only a muffler delete. You don't need to do any other deletes. So it's still legal to do this. Um, but if you want to do, you know, a catalyst delete, it's it's gonna, you know, amplify the sound. It's gonna make the sound a whole lot nicer and better. Um, but for the sake of this, I'm basically sure it's, I'm basically doing it uh, in a way that anybody can do it as long as your car is straight pipe. I mean, you can do it with your car not straight pipe but the you know you're barely gonna hear the pops and what's the point in that at that point so um <clears throat> let me show you guys what i'm doing exactly all right so i'll show you guys over here at the gears make sure oh, i'm gonna pull over real quick my gopro is running for the exhaust so i'll show you guys what you want to do is throw your car in sport all right, and throw it in the manual sport, not the regular sport. Once you do that, when you're driving, go up to, let me show you guys exactly what I'm trying to do, because I'm, I'm recording with the camera in my hand, and you have to shift gears, like driving a manual, kind of a little bit harder. Um, but as you guys can see, I'm on M1, and uh, you guys can see, I mean, you guys can't see right now, but I'm trying to get my RPMs to three to four, then release off the gas, and you're gonna hear pops on the first gear. I notice on the third gear, when you release it between three to 4,000 RPMs, it pops the most. Now, um, when you downshift, it does the exact same. When you're like going down to 2,000 RPMs and you downshift to three to 4,000 RPMs, you hear a lot of pops. So downshifts and releasing off the gas as you're driving will produce these pops. Um, I'm not sure if it's okay to downshift to three to 4,000 RPMs. Um, I'm pretty sure that's kind of harmful, but you know, if you just want to drive and you're at three to 4,000 RPMs and just release off the gas, you're gonna hear pops. I'm gonna show you guys both of them at this point. So right now I'm on first gear, okay? First gear I'm releasing. There's a few pops right there. A few pops right there. I'll show you guys um, the, the GoPro footage in a little bit. And then basically I'm gonna shift into second gear. So it depends how fast you're going. 
So right now I'm at like, you know, 30 miles per hour, three to 4,000 RPMs, release the gas. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is popping in the back. Um, I'm gonna take it out to where I can go to, you know, maybe four or fifth gear, because the third gear makes the most amount of pops and it sounds the best, so I'll show you guys that in a little bit. I just wanna make sure everything is okay, because I am recording with a GoPro, and I want the GoPro falling off my car, so let's see if it's still there. It's still there, thank the Lord, because otherwise I don't know what to do. So the GoPro's still there. We're gonna go ahead and try this one more time. But this time, we're gonna do it on third gear. Third gear, what I noticed pops the most, and uh, of course, you guys probably haven't heard it unless I put the GoPro footage right next to the footage right here, and you guys will definitely hear it. Um, in regular sport, it's not gonna do this, mainly because in you know when you're flooring it on sport mode, um, it's gonna hit up to like three to 4,000 RPMs, but it's gonna go higher. So if it goes higher to three to 4,000 RPMs, it normally doesn't do the pops. Um, it's just, you gotta get that soft spot, that good stuff, and then you got, you know, it's right between three to 4,000 RPMs, and uh, that's where you get the pops. So I'm gonna go ahead and find some place um, that can go up to like, you know, third gear and see how loud the pops are. You guys, this is like a prime example of people always tell me, you know, I can't do videos because, you know, I don't have somebody to help me record while I'm making the videos. The thing is, like, I'm over here with the GoPro on the back of my car and I'm trying to pay attention to my GoPro while driving and having the camera over here. Now, this isn't really the best thing to do. That's why I'm not gonna go on like public, public roads. I'm gonna take it to a public road, but it's kind of dead. Um, but yeah, anybody can make it. You guys can always make, you know, videos and try to make your own channel. It never hurts. Um, it's possible, just work with what you got and uh, you know, just do the best you can do because if you really, really love YouTube, you'll do the best that you could. I mean, um, this is the best I can do. I hit up my cousin, I hit up my brother, my brother's at work, my cousin's um, at school still till five and you know, it's a little bit sunny right now. It's, you know, spring and stuff so it's getting cold and raining, you know, randomly. So I'm trying to enjoy the sunlight while I still have it. Hitting up a few speed bumps right now. And by the way, guys, I don't know if you guys like the camera quality. So I, I did get this new camera. It's gonna be on the video right after this video. It should be the other way around, but uh, I kinda wanna upload this one first, mainly because I haven't came out with a video, like a how-to video in a while now. And uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for that. Um, you know, just some new content. Uh, because like, I do, I'm trying to do more of a vlog style with my channel, but uh, there are some new things I'm trying to do that, you know, it's mostly, it's mostly, you know, focused on my subscribers rather than attracting new viewers. So, all right, I'm putting it in first gear. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and shift it all the way to third gear right here so I don't have to go through all the gears while I'm driving. All right, so I'm on third gear. All right, let's watch the RPMs. So I'm trying to get it to three to 4,000 RPMs before releasing off the gas. part two to this video um, in the future with another car, maybe a 335. Uh, let me actually put it back into sport mode because it's kind of hard to shift while driving. So I do plan on making a part two with a 335 or an M3, um, but typically an M3 or a 335i typically pop you know, as you're driving, but this is just a way to get more pops. This is gonna work on any BMW, how to get more pops. Three to 4,000 RPM seems like the soft spot for a 330, 328, and 325. I believe it's gonna be the same for a 335. It might be different for a M3 because the the you know the RPMs are a whole lot higher and uh, you know it, it's a V8, so it is a different engine. You will have to play around with it a little bit, but yeah, I mean I love it. Um, you know when I'm trying to like you know trying to drive in between the school my school or you know I'm trying to go to a car meet, I leave it on first gear and I drive between three to four thousand RPMs and it does the trick. So it's pretty sick. Man, always when I see other E90s, I hope it's one of you guys because this makes me feel so good when you guys are like, hey, what's up? Um, but yeah, unfortunately that was not, it was it was just, it was like an old grandma. Um, things happen. You see, anybody can drive this car. It's, it's, it's a raw car. Anybody would be willing to buy this car and write this car. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, smash that like button and uh, let me know if this worked for you. I mean, it should work for everybody. I tried it on my other friend's BMW, the 328i. Exact same thing. 
Um, his was not straight pipe, so the, the pops wasn't as loud, but it worked. That's how I know it works. And then mine's is straight pipe, so you can definitely hear the pops, especially with your windows down. But for the sake of this video, having the windows rolled up, but the GoPro is back there. So if you guys could share this video, that would be amazing. It'd be super cool. Uh, you know, it would just be cool. All right, it'd be, it'd be dope. So if you guys could do that, that'd be amazing. So peace out. See you guys in the next one. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know, you're all.